definitely don't recommend you move to those your student places. Um, if you're not already a part of our, part of our campaign, come chat to me and I'll put you on the mailing list. Add to our Facebook group and let you know what we've got coming up. John Lugan. Okay, well thank you again for, for, for coming and for... Uh, well, I think, I think you've heard nothing. Can I just say congratulations to everyone who's helped organise this. Dominic and Bob Oliver have done a brilliant job for the fact bringing uh, people yeah. together too. Yeah. That's yeah. Really yeah. against Brexit because of the very confused situation in, in Parliament. But the key thing never to lose sight of at the moment is that there is no Brexit proposition at the moment which commands a majority in Parliament. And for as long as that continues, then something will have to give. And the thing that looks most immediately as it's going to give is the 28th of March and leaving. That period will be extended. Mm -hmm. But once that immediate crisis issue has been resolved, which will have to be resolved in the next two to three weeks, unless we literally go up to the edge, which I hope doesn't happen. Once that's resolved, then everything comes back into play again, including, crucially, the people's vote. And it's always been my view that we will get to a people's vote after people have gone several times around the circuit and tried and looked at all the alternative mm. options, and none yep. of them either, in many cases, exist, because they're unicorns, uh, or they don't like them. And once we've done that, and we've tested these to destruction, maybe through things like citizens' assemblies and, and other uh, mechanisms and endless debate and discussion, we will end up with, uh, with the uh, people's vote. And it will be a combination of those, and I confess I'm one of them, who are very instrumental about this, who do want to stop Brexit. I do regard it, and with John, I regard it as a disaster for the country and we should stop it. And part of the reason for having a people is to give people the opportunity to do this. It's not undemocratic, it's perfectly democratic. Now you can see very clearly what it's going to mean, you should do so. But I do also accept the point made by the lady at the back too, that there will be a lot of people, in, in, it will be a coalition between these two groups, who take the view that uh, there is no other way of resolving this, almost irrespective of what your view is. It's, it's become kind of lifeboat, which we all have to get into, because the Titanic is sinking, and somehow we've got to get away from it. And I respect both of those points because both are true. If you want to stop Brexit, the only way it looks like you're going to be able to do it is a people's vote. But if you want any resolution to this crisis at the moment that doesn't involve it literally, the can just being kicked down the road the whole time, then you've probably got to have a people's vote too. So we are the answer to everybody's questions. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why we will end up with a people's vote.